The first batch of anti-COVID oral drug 2TG developed by TRTO was released on Monday by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Health Minister Harshvardhan. The Drugs Controller General of India approved the 2DG drug for emergency usage as an adjunct therapy in moderate to severe coronavirus patients earlier this month. Singh said that drug has brought a new ray of hope for the treatment of COVID-19 patients. Even as the country is reeling under the vaccine shortage and growing COVID cases, vaccines worth lakhs were destroyed in a fire at a go-down in Madhya Pradesh's Indore. The incident took place in a warehouse Bharat Serums and Vaccines Limited in Indore. The reason for the fire is yet to be ascertained. The fire brigade was rushed to the spot and fire could be contained. Vaccines kept in go-down along with injections for black fungus were also damaged in the fire. The Indian Meteorological Department said that cyclone poses no threat to the BMC premises. Over 1 lakh people shifted from coastal areas in Gujarat as storm looms. Mumbai sees diversions due to water locking. As a precautionary measure, the Mumbai and Surat airports have been shut, while water has started receding from the Kerala coast. A furious Mamta Banerjee landed at the CBI office in Kolkata today as two of her ministers, Firad Hakim and Subrata Mukherjee, were arrested in the Narda bribery case. Bengal Chief Minister said that the way they have been arrested without due procedure, CBI will have to arrest me as well. Central forces arrived at the homes of the ministers and two other leaders this morning and took them to the CBI office in the dramatic escalation of the Bengal centre clash brewing since Mamta Banerjee's election victory. Israeli airstrikes hammered the Gaza Strip pre-dawn Monday after a week of violence between Jewish state and Islamist militants left more than 200 people dead as international calls for de-escalation went unheeded. Overnight, Sunday to Monday, Israel launched dozens of strikes in the space of a few minutes across the crowded coastal Palestinian enclave controlled by Islamist group Hamas, according to the AFP journalists at the scene.